Hello, my name is Christian Weston Chandler from Rutgers of Virginia. It has come to my attention that I have a lot more fans of my electronic, electric hedgehog Pokemon Sanchu than I had originally thought. And I thank each and every one of you for your support. And I will draw more comics uh, when I get some positive inspiration or uh, when I feel like it. After all, everybody else, everybody has a life. So do I. I have a life. Anyway, it has also come to my attention that I have a lot of people who may have picked up on the wrong theories of my person. I would not quote any hate sites, but I would like to humbly apologize for appearing to be some kind of sleaze, troll, badass, or whatever adjectives, good or explicit, you may feel about me. Please understand. I am a 25-year-old, high-functioning, autistic male with a simple, peaceful dream of becoming a father of a sweet, little, pretty girl who I will dub the name Crystal Weston Chandler. Crystal, a name that sounds similar to mine, but it has a nice ring to it, and it's also similar to the illustrious metal that is mine from the Earth's ground. Weston, my mother's maiden name, and a proper English name from royal descent. As a matter of fact, among my uh, mother's side in the uh, ancestral traits, we have uh, we have been traced down to Daniel Weston, who was on the main Mayflower voyage, and uh, beyond him, Anne Boleyn, who was the uh, one of Henry VIII's King Henry VIII's wives, who gave birth to uh, Queen Elizabeth I. And Chandler, the uh, name my fa the family name my father had, and uh, from his uh, line uh, we have uh, we from his side of the family we have the uh, Cherokee blood. I'm one sixteenth, and from among us Cherokees there are very few of us left because we were big in number. But then came along the uh, force march on the Trail of Tears. Well, some of us went into hiding. Yeah, short line there, Cherokees, we're a respected tribe. We should be respected anyway, even though we were forced into the trail of cheers. But that's in our that's in our whole nother story. You can go read you can learn about in your local libraries. Um, my mother and my father are both really nice old fashioned type people who not only gave the birth gave me birth at their ages, which my mother is sixty six currently, and my father is currently eighty. They both just turned that way in the last couple of months. And uh I was born in nineteen eighty two. They gave me the birth then and uh, anyway, there was some nice of them for them to give me the uh, birth during the early 1980s. I was diagnosed with high functional autism, and I lived a uh, somewhat rough life. I've had an abusive babysitter at one time, and some of the teachers and principals of Nathaniel Green Elementary School, and I was attending in later years, but uh, late 1980s, early 1990s. They abused me. They abused me by pinning me to the ground with uh, their hand, with uh, holding my wrists and my ankles, pinning me down the ground and and audio taping my cries and shouts. But anyway, my mother and my father they both fought the court system, the Green County court system, which uh, they were not a very nice bunch of people. Very not, hands down. But anyway, we eventually moved to Chesterfield County for a nice fair school system, and. One teacher in particular of Providence Middle School, who I would like to give much kudos to, who, who was who uh, let who not, who not only uh, let me, it was a good good uh, person to go by dur uh, during my mainstreaming. Uh, she was also the uh, also a good leader in my learning to cope. I wish to give kudos to Mrs. Virginia Janice Sanford of Providence Middle School in Chesterfield County. Whose picture is uh, in the trailer of my CWC on TV DVD, which is also on the, the YouTube. And after being on honor roll throughout uh, Providence Middle and Manchester High, Sanchu was first thought up in my senior year, and along with a uh, nice bunch of teachers backing me up in my circle of gal pals. I mostly had gal, mostly had that circle during my high school years. Anyway, after all that, I graduated. I graduated. Then we moved back to uh, our old home in Rutgersville, where I attended Piedmont Virginia Community College, and eventually I graduated from there too, 
with a degree in computer aided drafting and design, also known as CAD CAM. And uh, during my high school years, I was used to being surrounded by girls in my circle. And after having to uh, lead them, I felt ever so lonesome. And after the stress from some of the people, people at PVCC, as well as my mental block of autism, it became hard for me to approach, gir approach the girls like I used to. And I would like to point out right now, at this, at, uh, during my, ever since, I, ever, uh, during the whole, my whole sweetheart search was started when I turned 21 on February 24, 2002. Anyway, beyond that date, I never have stalked anybody. Never have stalked. I'm telling you right. I'm telling you right now. All I did was sit around with a sign by my side that said I was looking for a boyfriend, freak girl, 1825, yada yada yada. All that page, and I did all that because I have feared rejection and the infinitely high boyfriend factor because you cannot tell which ladies are paired up and which are not. And wedding rings, that's just a whole different story because they're married. Because it's not like you give every woman a ring who's already paired up. And this is one perspective. But anyway, uh, I do not move from my seat at all unless I need to go use the restroom. That's it, okay? I never move from my seat while I'm sitting around waiting for the girl to come to me. Because that's all I'm doing there. I'll just wait for a girl to come talk to me. Because, like I said, I'm afraid to approach him at that point. So please understand, I am not a violent person. I'm decent. I come from a caring, loving pair of parents. I'm kind. I'm considerate. I will respect your space and your feelings ever so much. And I apologize for my MySpace profile if it appears to reflect anything on the contrary of all that. I apologize that I appear to be a slow-minded person. I'm sorry for reflecting any negative feelings towards each of you that have felt them, including those who have had such feelings they have created uh, demeaning web pages. All I ask, all I ask, are those people who are watching this right now, is just take them down please I'm asking as an innocent victim of misunderstanding just take down your web pages or add them to positively better reflect my feelings as an individual as a person as a band who has suffered like most everybody in this world that we all live in thank you very much for your time and listening and please remember I'm an innocent person just like most every one of you I've had my faults. I've had my share of bad times. I have my share of good times. Please understand that. Thank you again. Take care.